Welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. We welcome all our brothers and sisters viewing us through our various media platforms. pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of Ethiopians in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with the chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I? unless someone instructs me. So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a shepherd, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before the shares in silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his prosperity for his life is taken from the earth. 
Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and, beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the church eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appeal to him in words, praise was on the lip of my tongue. Let, Let all the earth, earth cry out, out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let, Let all, all the earth, earth cry, cry out, out to, to God, God with, with joy. be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory, glory to you lord. lord jesus said to the crowds no one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws him and i will raise him on the last day it is written in the prophets they shall all be taught by god Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We begin a new day gathered around the table of the Lord where we will encounter once again Jesus, the living bread, come down from heaven. And it is truly by God's grace and God's spirit that we are able to celebrate the Eucharist once again today. 
For Jesus himself in today's gospel stated, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is God who calls us, who draws us to his Son, Jesus. And as we reflect upon our calling, our invitation to enter into a relationship with the Lord Jesus, the bread of life, it is important to remember that God utilizes each and every one of us in order also to draw others closer to Jesus, the Lord. In today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we heard how an Ethiopian eunuch was reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, words that caught his mind and his attention, yet words that he did not understand. And so it was through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the invitation of God leading Philip to this Ethiopian eunuch, that he came to understand the words of the prophet Isaiah, and then asked Philip to baptize him, to baptize him in the Spirit of God and in the Spirit of Jesus, his Son. It was through the Word of God, and it was through the faith and the relationship that Philip had with the Lord Jesus and God that enabled this Ethiopian eunuch then to become a member of the Christian community. As we have then the encounter with Jesus, the bread of life today, and as we reflect upon his word, we are reminded then how important it is for us to be those messengers of God's spirit, those disciples of Jesus who continue to proclaim the mystery of the resurrection, the mystery of our faith. And as we share this great mystery of our faith and also share our own call to discipleship through word and sacrament, that those who are also searching to understand the mysteries of faith, those who are being called by God but do not realize perhaps that it is the voice of God drawing them to himself and to his son Jesus, that we can be those instruments of the gospel message. We can be those teachers of the faith, drawing those who are seeking God in their lives to enter into a relationship with him and with Jesus, his son, the bread of life. Today then, as we continue to celebrate the mystery of the resurrection, we thank the Lord for this opportunity to celebrate the Eucharist, to encounter once again his son, the bread come down from heaven. And as we receive him spiritually this morning, may we be renewed in his spirit, so that like St. Philip, we may always hear the voice of God, the voice that leads us to others to explain his word, to explain the mystery of faith, so that they too will be able to join us around the table of Jesus, the bread of life, come down from heaven. Having heard the word of the Lord, let us come to him with our needs and intentions. For all who know bodily or spiritual hunger, may God's providence bring them relief and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civic leaders entrusted to uphold the common good and justice for all, that they may act in ways that show their commitment to the protection of children and young people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who have participated in the special cathedral candle program, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those infected by the coronavirus, may they be comforted by those who care and pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, especially for Cornelia Jadir, may Jesus, the living bread, raise them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we thank you for drawing us to yourself and giving us life. Hear the prayers we offer through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Yes. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and to be praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Yeah.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are really here in the blessed sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world, and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now as I do when I actually receive you. Amen. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And together we pray. Holy, Holy Virgin, Virgin of Guadalupe, Guadalupe Queen, Queen of the, the angels, angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your Son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help, Help us, us always, always to know the love, love of your Son, Son Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you this day and always. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord in one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And have a good day. Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, cleansed by the blood of Christ our King, heirs of salvation, trust.
trusting his promise faithfully God.